Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing great today. It's Friday. I hope you guys are ready for a great weekend ahead and hopefully you get a few days off. I wanted to give you a farm update and it's been a little while since I have gotten a video out and I apologize for that very quickly. I have had a lot going on in my life right now. We just sold my childhood home. We moved my mom out. So we got everything put into storage. We purchased her a new home closer to me and we are in the process of getting her moved in. And in the midst of all of that, of me heading out of town and coming back in town, I also accepted a new job in IT. It's one of my dream jobs that I always wanted. And I am diving into the deep end on that and trying to get up to speed to help the new company that I'm working for on this exciting new adventure. That being said, the YouTube channel is not going to die. I will be getting out more videos than ever in the coming future. I've got some good stuff planned. We've got some tutorials coming. We've got some testing coming. That being said, I apologize for being off the past month or so as I've been going through all of these life changes here. So thank you guys for staying tuned in. And also, we passed 40,000 subscribers. We're approaching 43,000 subs, which is just absolutely amazing. I can't thank you all enough. If you would, do me a favor. We're going to do a giveaway thanks to my good friends over at Aeonpool.tech. We are going to be giving away some Aeon. So leave your Aeon address in the comments below, and we will pick a winner or multiple winners and get some Aeon out to you. Really want to thank them for supporting the channel and supporting the community as always. And if you need an Aeon address, if you don't have a wallet, go grab something simple like Coinomi. You can install that on your smartphone and you can grab an Aeon address and then drop it in the show notes. You can have your address up and available within just a couple of minutes. Okay, back to the farm. I just wanted to show you what's going on. We have been doing some testing over this past month. We've taken the opportunity to get some good stuff out for you for pool comparison, which you are going to see in an upcoming video. So I have had to leave pretty much all of this static in the way that I had all of the rigs set up and running for just about the past month or so. And you will see all of that coming in an upcoming video. We are pitting Ethermine head on against one of my favorites, which is Hive On Pool. There's been a lot of discussion on payouts between the two and which is going to get you more. So we are going to at least bring you our findings for what those are worth. You'll see that in an upcoming video. Now, as for how the farm's doing, it's been doing really fantastic. Right now, the longest running rig I have, let's see here, is Vader that has been up for 10 days. A couple of these, actually most of these, were rebooted for maintenance reasons. Dark Trooper, 10 days. We've got eight days here. Skywalker 10 days. So it's been really solid. These have been up and running while I've been really busy. Uh, we've got everything on Ethereum except for the solo rig, which is on Octopus. And the reason for that, Octopus on NiceHash, was simply because we had some LHR cards and we were trying to do some testing and take advantage of the Octopus algorithm. And why don't we go ahead and take a look at the earnings on that rig first. So Let's see here, nice hash on Octopus with the hash rate we were getting, which was right around 318.4 mega hash. On nice hash, we're bringing in $17.72 per day on that LHR rig, uh, 15.76 after electric, even though I'm not paying that out of my crypto monthly. So nice little chunk of change there. That equates to, as there's fluctuations in the pricing, uh, between three and $400 a month that that rig is making. And then if we look over at the rest of the farm, we're currently mining on Ethermine for our testing, and we are mining on layer one. So we are paying those fees as the payments are made. And we are making weekly, I just went ahead and converted this to USD, about $1,129.49. Now it's worth noting, you always hear me say that uh, I keep, I hodl my crypto. Well, right now, Ethereum price is at about $4,656 and we peaked recently somewhere around 4,800, something like that. Yeah, look at this right in here at 4,800. So I'll be fully transparent. I am selling my Ethereum as I'm mining it into strength right here and just going ahead and taking those profits and it's not that I don't think that it can go higher yeah I may hold some Ethereum in the future but at the moment 
this is the peak this is the highest we've been at uh, ever actually so I'm selling into this strength to go ahead and lock in some earnings I am doing that to USDC and then I have an upcoming video where I'm gonna show you a new exchange that I am mining to to get better interest rates than what we saw on BlockFi so that's another video you will see coming up very soon so if you added roughly three hundred dollars to this eleven twenty nine that puts us at about fourteen hundred dollars per week and we'll call that with fluctuations somewhere between five and six thousand dollars per month that we're mining at and then we are catching that out to USDC and again earning that higher interest rates between seven and nine percent somewhere in there so that we get a bonus on top of what we lock in and then the other thing I've been doing lately is I've continued to look into NFTs. I recently picked up a Mecca, and there was an announcement today that the Mechaverse, we are excited to announce our collaboration with Coinbase NFT. And if you all have been following along, you know that Coinbase has been looking at providing custodial ownership for NFTs, and maybe Mechaverse is going to be one of the first. And it looks like in the first few hours, the floor is already being swept up. Don't know how high that'll go. Not financial advice or anything like that. Just letting you know what announcements are out there and kind of what I'm taking a look at. So join us in our NFT channel in Discord if you want to chat about this stuff that's going on. I'm also looking at the, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Veve, Vive Digital Collectibles NFTs, the new application that's available for iPhone and Android. I picked this up for the Disney collectibles. They did a Star Wars drop, and unfortunately, I'm not having any luck, and I'm hearing from most of the community. They're not having a lot of luck with these NFTs from Veve. It would seem that either bots own the application and are sweeping this up, or something else is going on, because very few people are able to pick up any of the popular NFTs that you're wanting to get off of this application, so a bit disappointing there. All right, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I will leave it there for this video. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget, leave your Aeon address so you can win some Aeon. We'll see you in the next video, Raptors. Take care. Back, back, back from the dead. Hell yeah.